So this is issue three of Danger Street by Tom King. And I have the variant cover, which is by Ramona Fredone. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. She uh, is a legendary artist who's been around since, I don't know, I think the 1960s at least. So I, I like this cover. It's pretty cool. It's, it's a bit cartoony, but you know, we got Met Metamorpho there smacking around three guys. I don't think Metamorpho doesn't even technically appear in this comic, but it's a cool cover. So the concept of Danger Street is that uh, Tom King is taking the 13 issues of a 1975 series called First Issue, Issue Special. These were disparate series, had nothing to do with each other, and uh, uh, single issues, not series, but single issues. And um, he's taken them all and created a uh, narrative around them. So um, I'm not going to avoid spoilers, but I'm not going to try and I, I do want I, I do encourage people to get this because I think it's really good. Um, so basically in the first issue, Warlord and Starman, Starman is a blue skinned alien, uh, accidentally kill one of the members of uh, the Dingbats of Danger Street. And um, they also kill Atlas who was a character by, a very obscure character by Jack Kirby, and also the god of, what's it, Greek mythology? Um, so, not only are the dingbats dealing with the death of their friend Good Looks, but also um, Starman and Warlord, because they are just consumed by guilt over what they've done. And so... Just as in last issue, the Dingbats are still trying to deal with the death of their friend. At some point, they're, they're, they're in the pool, and they're just discussing it. And so it's, it's really hard on them. And uh, they've decided that what they're going to do is they're going to find out who did it and kill them. Uh, meanwhile, Starman and Warlord are trying to figure out a way to, to bring good looks back to life. And it's a comic book, so, you know, it's not inconceivable that they could do that, particularly since they have the helm of Naboo. Not that Dr. Fate brings people back to life, but uh, they're trying to come up with ways, and they, they're, at this point, reaching out to the, uh, the green team, which are apparently the villains in this. We're also dealing with some cosmic-level um, events, including Metron, and there you have Dark Side and High Father, and so they're kind of uh, dealing with the death of Atlas. So when Atlas was there, he started screaming out, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, and, and I, I had no idea what he was talking about. And it didn't occur to me that Atlas of mythology was tasked with holding up the sky. So apparently, with his death, I don't know, they're, they're, <laughs> the sky is literally falling, and so now they have to deal with that, and, and I guess it's some kind of metaphysical sky. Um, Metron goes to the source wall, and so he finds out there's some kind of, like I said, a cosmic level threat, and they need to deal with it. And they're going to reach out to, uh, I, I think, Mr. No, Orion. Sorry, I was going to say Mr. Miracle. Orion. So Orion, this is his the first comic in the series where he finally makes an appearance. Um we have more with, uh, so there's Manhunter, and apparently Manhunter and Codename Assassin are on opposite sides. So Codename Assassin is, I guess, a bodyguard for the green team. Um, so like I said, Tom King is weaving in all of these different characters. and Probably very, very few people have ever heard of Codename Assassin. Uh, Lady Cop was from the issue Lady Cop, and so she's doing her thing out there trying to figure out who killed Good Looks. And then, of course, who doesn't know Dark Side and High Father and whatnot. And then there's Orion. I can't remember this. This is one of Jack Kirby's characters, and I can't remember his name, but he's one of the new gods. Um, Creeper makes just a, a very brief appearance in here. And... Um, a little bit more with the, uh, the here they're trying to uh, negotiate with one of the members of the green team to uh, help them bring good looks back to life. So we'll see if that happens. Uh, 
it's a really interesting comic. It's a really interesting series. I, I, I would have been interested to be there when Tom King was pitching this idea. And I have no idea what the sales numbers are for this um, because, you know, I, I almost wish I'd picked up the, 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 the regular cover is actually really cool too. Um, I, I didn't even look to see if my comic shop got it. But I suspect the sales numbers probably aren't great. I don't know because it's a series based on such obscure characters, but it is Tom King and I think he's got a following too. I know a lot of people don't like Tom King's writing. I'm not going to blame them for it. People like what they like. Uh, there's very little action. He's not, he doesn't write a ton of dialogue. So you don't see like walls of text. Some writers do. And everything has a purpose. It's not just people yammering away. Um, but it is a lot of dialogue and not a lot of action and character building and, and whatnot. So there's the, the, the dingbats just kind of hanging out of the pool and talking about talking about their friend and, and what they're going to do about it. And um, if you don't like the, his dialogue, or if, or if you're just more into action, then it's not for you. And some people really don't like his, his style and will pretty much give every comic he writes uh, low ratings. Um, but I do like it, which is kind of why Tom King is just about the only writer at DC that I'm really collecting at this point. And so um, I think people should give this series a... Give it a try. So the variant cover, that was six bucks for this comic. You know, that's kind of the problem. I think the regular one is, is five bucks. So, um, you know, that, that price is, that's the way comics are going. I mean, it's a lovely, it's a hard, nice solid cover, but it is regular amount of pages. They have ads, but the only ads are for other comic books. So they're certainly not making money on that. But I highly recommend the series. I recommend this. They're going to be coming up on the final issue of uh, of um, Human Target, which is his other series. So he's going to be finishing that up. And um, I don't know how DC really uh, gets out the gets out the word on new comics. I, I the only reason I even knew this existed was because I tend to check on what. Tom King is currently working on, so that's how I knew that this was coming out. But anyway, that's the third issue. Again, I highly recommend the series. Give it a try if you'd like. This is Danger Street number three.